Oh, would you look at that, Podge? <laughs> Isn't it amazing how close monkeys are to humans all the same, huh? <laughs> yeah, closer to some humans more than others. Yeah, well, you might stop that if you had a mate. I told you before <laughs> we're not getting any more monkeys. We've an attic full of them. You never play with them. Wait, will you stop? Shoo, shoo, shoo. Dirty monkey, shoo. Yeah, well, I can't help it if I'm an animal lover, can I? You'd want to be careful where you say that. Huh? His name was Mint. Murray Mint. <laughs> On the surface, a perfectly normal young man. Had a nine-to-five job, but behind some of the most ordinary exteriors lurks the most extraordinary perversions. Now, once a month, Murray would visit his post office box to pick up his... Uh, a specialist magazine. Uh, oh, 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 hey, come here. What's it, um, bike saddle sniffers? What? Oh, eh, uh, or hairy handed girls monthly. No. No, I know, I know, I know, I know. Was it, uh, you bend extremists? Huh? Yeah? You bend what? Oh, yeah. Last month came with a free set of rubber gloves and a, uh, uh, a soiled oh, plunger. Jesus. Huh? No, it huh? was none of those. Oh. Murray's magazine was for an elite group of connoisseurs called Furverts. Uh, people who like to dress up as animals and groom one another and play act as their animal of choice. Oh. That's the sickest thing I've ever heard. Oh. <sighs> Murray kept his secret behind closed doors. He would frolic around his house in his bunny costume whenever he had the chance. He was very careful that nobody would ever find out his strange perversion. He was flicking through the new edition of Fur Your Eyes Only when he saw an ad that got him very excited indeed. Ooh. It read, Ah, fellow furverts, have you longed to roam free as nature intended us to be? Why, join me at my private estate for a fantastic weekend. All inquiries and strictest confidence sent to P.O. Box 347. The thought of roaming free outside <sighs> instead of indoors in his costume was like a dream come true. So Murray sent a letter immediately. Within a week, a reply addressed to Fluffy Bunnykins arrived. Huh? Uh, that was his rabbit name. Oh, Jesus! It was all very <gasps> secretive, but Murray reckoned that was only to protect the group of normally uh, very private individuals. Oh. Only animal names were to be used, and he was going to be met at a train station by Mr. Fox. On the journey, Murray looked around the train carriage and tried to guess which passengers were like-minded ferverts. The group were picked up by a distinguished-looking gent and driven to a very private and extremely large estate. Mm -hmm. Murray looked longingly at the flower-filled meadows. His nose started to twitch huh? as he imagined himself hopping gleefully in search of carrots. Back in Egypt. <laughs> Perhaps he might even meet a mate. <laughs> he could hardly contain himself. All he wanted to do was strip off his human clothes and don his rabbit oh. pelt. And once again become fluffy bunny kids. Oh, holy mother of God. <laughs> At the house, Mr. Fox told them to get changed so that for the next two days they could all live their animal lives in the natural surroundings. By now it was late evening, and all the animals were gathered at the front of the house. A jeep pulled up, and there was Mr. Fox. Not in an animal costume, but in a safari suit with a large shotgun. Right, you vermin. You've got five minutes head start. Then the fox starts hunting. He shouted. The paddles the penguin spoke up. <laughs> That's not what we came for. Quack, quack. I'm going home, he said before receiving a 12-gauge cartridge to the beak. Jesus. 
Murray and the others ran for their lives. This deranged hunter meant business. Over the next three hours, the ferverts were ritually hunted down and blown away. Marigold the dolphin had to bite her own fin off to free herself from a trap before being gunned down. What happened to a uh, fluffy buddy gobshite fella? Oh, he was the last to get caught. Caught in the headlights, to be precise. And since he had survived the longest, they didn't shoot him. They invited him to dinner. Oh, all right. Let's face it, they had to eat something after a long night's hunting. <laughs> Poor Murray Mint oh. was skinned and scoffed like the rabbit he wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here, come here, come here. Did they change his name to after dinner? <laughs> huh? Did they change his name to after dinner? <laughs> After dinner, mint. <laughs> Shut oh. it, you scroat muncher. Oh. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> All the same, though. <laughs> I think I'd like to be a monkey like Spooky, swinging through the trees and all. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> so you're already like a monkey. Huh? You show your arse off at any opportunity. You're covered in fleas. <laughs> you're constantly at yourself. And you've an IQ of below 12. <laughs> in fact, <laughs> You're less than a monkey. <laughs> yeah, well, well, you, 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 Get me shotgun now! No, sure, there's bound to be a spray or something we can there's get for that. There's no spray. Get the shotgun, a black plastic bag, and a pair of rubber gloves. Oh, That's shite. it. Oh, 